Hello, everybody. I'm going to do a quick uh, show you how to connect the new bifiller mag coil. Um, I've done videos on comparing this with the old uh, mag coil, which I still have sitting on the desk here. Uh, the connections are very similar. Uh, in fact, they're actually identical. Um, if you look at the videos on all the ways that this could be connected, the bigger coil can be connected the same in the same way. Um, so when when you get this coil, you will also get two. This is a bifiller coil. You will get um, two connection options. Okay. Let me uh, do this a little more organized. This wire right here goes to the this connector right here goes to the 12 gauge wire that's inside the coil. The 12 gauge wire has dual purpose. It is also um, used to, um, in conjunction with a PEMF uh, unit, um, pulse elect uh, electromagnetic uh, field uh, unit for generating PEMF pulses, really powerful PEMF pulses with the PEMF units. We have two different units, um, and they are like night and day also. Um, and you can see the videos to see the differences between those two units. Um, this is a AC plug that goes into the PEMF units that um, I did previous videos on. But if you want to use it with a Spooky, you need to have an adapter. And the adapter comes with the coil. And I plug it in. And voila, now you have a um, RCA phono with a BNC adapter already plugged in, so it will connect directly to the Spooky. Okay, you can see it right there. Now, if you want to use channel 2 with the Spooky, why don't I just leave that in? And it's there. If you want to use channel 2, we have a long cable. One end has the one end has the uh, male uh, prongs, AC prongs, and it plugs into the female right here. And yeah, okay, I'm just seeing if okay. And again, it has an RCA phono running to a BNC converter, so it also will plug in directly to the Spooky channel two. So now you have a bifiller coil a bifiller coil with two windings in it connected to the two channels of the Spooky. And if you look at the comparison video that we did between the mag and this, you'll see some how the Spooky, I had two Spookies running and I had them changing frequencies and so forth. And you could see on the scope and wherever that mag uh, meter went, there it is. I was doing showing the uh, relative intensity of the magnetic pulses coming out using my trig. This is a, by the way, a tri-field meter. It's a model X100E, X, uh, excuse me, a model X100XE. And I was using that to do relative uh, gauze strength. Okay, short video, but I just wanted people to see the black and white of how the new coil connects to the spookies. And the videos on the old mag are very relevant, and I'm leaving them on the web, very relevant on all the things you can do with this. You can just do them with lots of more power, lots and lots of more power. Thank you very much.